Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Whoa, make sure you have your sunglasses on, because we're about to take a look at the sun. All right, so that is our mighty sun. It's the star at the center of our solar system. Oh, the solar system? That's the sun and everything that moves around it, including all the planets, comets, and asteroids. And one of those planets is Earth. Here it is. Ah, breathtaking. The sun is very important to everything that lives on our planet, and of course to us, too. It gives off light and heat that we call sunlight. Let's take a closer look and see how exactly the sun affects the Earth. Here's a fun fact for you. Did you know that Earth is actually spinning all the time? <laughs> Hold on tight, or you might fall. Just kidding. It spins each day, but because Earth is so big, we don't even feel it. Sometimes when we look at the sun, especially during sunrise or sunset, it seems like it's moving. But actually, we are the ones moving. The Earth spinning is what makes it seem like the sun moves in the sky. When you wake up in the morning, the sun is probably starting to rise in the sky, and it's not very bright yet. As the Earth spins throughout the day, the sun appears to move higher in the sky, and we see more and more of its light. If we go outside in the middle of the day, the sun will be right above us. This is actually the hottest part of the day because the sun is overhead and its heat energy causes the temperature to rise. Temperature is how hot or cold something is. We use thermometers, like this one here, to measure temperature. Too much sun can lead to things getting too hot or burnt. In fact, in some places that get a lot of sunlight, such as a desert, it can get so hot that you can fry an egg on the ground. I would not want to walk barefoot there, <laughs> that's for sure. And that's the effect of the sunlight. It warms the earth. Sunlight warms the surface and causes it to become very hot. Now, if you go outside later in the afternoon or evening, the sun will appear to be going down or setting. There's less and less sun during this time. Have you ever wondered why it gets dark at night? It isn't a huge curtain being pulled down over the sun. It gets dark because Earth is spinning and your part of the Earth has spun away from the sun. Someone on the other side of the Earth is enjoying the sun now. Check out this playground with all these cool structures. Looks like tons of fun, but it's so hot. The sun is high in the sky, and everyone's a bit sweaty and red. What could these friends do to get a break from the heat and sunlight? What makes a good spot to rest on a hot sunny day? That tree has lots of branches full of leaves that are blocking the sun. I bet that would be a great spot to rest. Sunlight touches everything on Earth, unless something else gets in the way. When light is blocked by an object, like the leaves on this tree, it can't pass through. The leaves block the sunlight and create shade. Shade is a darker spot and usually much cooler. There is nothing like a nice shady spot on a hot, hot, sunny day. The beach is another great spot to enjoy a warm summer day, but boy, it can get hot. Whew. Look over there. Those people have brought an umbrella with them. The umbrella will block the sun and make a nice shady spot. That's similar to what a hat would do on your head. It creates shade for your face and body. Now, let me put my tent here. Ah, so much better. What else do you think can create shade? The curtains on your windows, at home, a gazebo, or a canopy, and many other things. But be careful when you choose the color of your hat or tent, because the darker it is, the more it will attract the sun and its heat. Dark color surfaces like rocks or metal, the ground, even the sand will heat faster than light color surfaces or plastic or wood materials. That is the reason why, when we are at the beach, we go in the water to cool down. 
Water is lighter than sand. All right, I feel so hot right now. I'm going to take a dip in the pool. And as for you, my mighty friend, find a nice shady spot under a big leafy tree or an umbrella and enjoy the shade. See you in the next video. Stay cool, mighty scholars.